Well, you may have heard recently there's a new variant of COVID-19. The World Health Organization says Mu is now the fifth variant of interest. Our Justina Cornell is in the studio to break down what we need to know. Justina? Yeah, and it was first discovered in South America back in January, and it's made its way to 49 states and 42 countries. For now, it's something that's not an immediate threat, but the World Health Organization is still keeping an eye on it. WHO did recently declare that it was another variant of interest. Mu is another COVID variant added to the list. It becomes a variant of interest when they see mutations that are associated with um, escape from some of the antibodies. It has potential to be more resistant. Where there is concern that there could be escape from the vaccine. But there isn't enough clinical data yet. So far, we're not seeing the Mu variant um, in increasing numbers in people who are vaccinated. What's probable though? I think that you could pretty much assume that the usual symptoms that we've been uh, dealing with with the other strains uh, probably also hold true here. Currently, it doesn't take up a lot of the cases. It's accounting for less than 0.2 percent, 0.2 percent. Uh, so we are talking about two cases in 1,000 patients. This is unlike the Delta variant, a competitor that isn't budging. It seems to uh, not be able to outperform Delta in its transmission so far. At least in the U.S., you know, at least 99% of all the strains are still Delta. The Mu strain, it definitely doesn't keep me up at night uh, like the Delta strain does. And to avoid more mutations from happening, it's important to make an effort to stop it. If we let it run amok, and continue to replicate, we've given it that many more opportunities to figure out a way around our vaccines. The virus is going to take advantage of um, opportunities that we give it. Even with different variants, there's one fighting tool that stays the same. All the variants that we know are still responding to vaccine. Now, more studies are still needed on the MU strain to see if it's more contagious, more deadly, or more resistant to current vaccines and treatments. The Humane Society 